Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Production Crate assets inside a DaVinci Resolve. Production Crate has a huge online collection of VFX assets like explosions, texture 3D models, music, sound effects, and much more, all for an affordable annual fee. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use all of these inside a DaVinci Resolve. Big thanks to Production Crate for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to sign up, you can learn more down at the link in the description below. And if you don't want to spend any money, they have a ton of free assets on their site as well, so definitely go check them out. All right, but let me show you how to use them in DaVinci Resolve. So first we actually need to download some of their assets. So over on productioncrate.com here, I'm just on their homepage, okay? So up at the top here, we it says Production Crate, we got our account, I'm all signed in. And then we have a few different tabs up on the top here that you can use to uh, get to the different categories. You can also scroll or use the search bar right here and then search in the different uh, categories using that. Uh, then you can come down to the different crater kits that they have and a bunch of other stuff on the, this home page. But let's say we wanted to download an explosion. So we could come up to VFX Media and Elements and then come down to Explosions. And now the explosions are separated into all of these different uh, little groups, okay? But I'm going to come to Ground Explosions and I want to use one of these really cool gas explosions. So let's say I want to use Gas Explosion 10 here. I can click on this and it pops up with this nice preview. And as you can see, we got the explosion and it already has all the transparency. So that's going to make it really easy to import and use later on. If I come down here to the download button, I have two different options. I can download as the MOV in the PNG codec, or I can download in an MP4 codec. What you want to get is the MOV codec if possible. The benefit of using the MOV codec is it keeps the transparency. With the MP4, it can't keep transparency, so what it'll do is have a green screen background that you'll have to key out later. So the MOV is the best one to download. So if I click that, it will now download that version of it. We can also set it up so that it downloads that one by default. If I come up to my member page up in the top right here, I can select the preferred downloading uh, format. The best ones for DaVinci Resolve are the MOV PNG codec or the PNG sequence. Depending on the project, I'll either do the MOV if I want a higher quality or the uh, PNG if I just want something that doesn't take up as much space. Anyways, once you downloaded that, we can go right over to DaVinci Resolve and then navigate to where you stored the file. Then you just need to drag it right into DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, we now have this explosion imported. Now these MOV files and the zip files, they can be really high quality and you might struggle playing on them back. What you can do is right click on any of the clips and you can come to render cache fusion output and check that on. And then it'll make a little cache file for you so that will play back at normal speeds. Back on Production Crate's website, they also have the sound effects and music tab. So let's say I come down to my sound effects and do explosions and bangs, come down to explosions and I'm going to go ahead and do this large explosion right here. This is the one that I think sounds pretty good. Um, but anyways, I'll just come down to download HD. And that'll just download for me in the WAV format. And that's perfectly fine. But then again, I can just drag and drop it right into Fusion. And now I have a sound effect that goes with my explosion. You just import music the same way, just drag and drop. Okay, next up, let's do 3D models. This is where it gets a little more complicated to import, but it's still pretty easy. So if we come over to the 3D section, we can come down to models, and now we can pick the model that we want to import. So let's come down to uh, the urban and maybe do this these construction modules, okay? This is a really kind of cool model here. So if you hover over, you can uh, download the zip that contains all the textures and the model, and you can also choose the uh, resolution of the textures. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, 4K for this just so it loads a little bit faster, but you can go all the way up to 8K in this situation. Now, because I downloaded a zip folder, we need to extract it before we can actually use it. You'll also have to do that if you download any of the zip files um, for explosions or anything like that. Okay, but once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this because I do not need it. But I'm going to go up to my effects library, grab a fusion composition because I need to be in fusion in order to use any of the 3D models. And once I'm in fusion, I'll come up to fusion and I'll do import and then I can do FBX scene. Now once I navigate to where it is stored, I can just come right up here and I can do the FBX or the OBJ file. I'm just going to do the OBJ file. And then this uh, little window will pop up and I can just hit OK. Make sure materials is checked so that way it'll import some of the textures for you. And once that's done, as you can see, we have a bunch of different 3D models here. And if I view this all off in this merge node, it'll take a second to load. But now if I zoom out, we have all of our construction equipment imported and it already has textures. So the cool thing about this model is it did separate into all of these different FBX meshes. So that means like if I go and click on any one of these, it is separate from all of the others. 
that's really cool and really helpful. Well, anyways, that is how you import all the different stuff on Production Crate's website. Production Crate is constantly growing, so they're always adding new stuff. It's something that I definitely recommend if you do any kind of VFX work, uh, both professionally and or as a hobby. I've been using it as my go-to for VFX stuff for over a year now. Again, if you guys want to sign up for either a free or a paid account, you can do so at the link down below. Again, big thanks to Production Crate for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in more VFX tutorials just like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out when I upload another video. With all that being said, I'm Jake Whip. Thanks for watching.